you suffered a severe brain injury. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Tell me what you remember. You can what you know. Tell me what you know of what happened. What happened to me was I was uh, involved in a serious car accident. On April nineteenth, two thousand six, I was um, uh, drinking with some friends at a party, and I was seventeen years old. And I uh, I got in a car and I drove. And uh, from what the police report says, um, my car skidded. Um, I went fishtailed like back and forth, then skidded a little bit, slid into um, the guardrail. And from it hit the side of the guardrail, my car did. It rolled over several times, and then I ended up like halfway up a tree. And uh, I guess I was thrown from the car. And uh, from there, the um, state police came, and they uh, they land they life lighted the helicopter landed right on the the highway, picked me up and brought me to ICU, and I was in a coma for a month. Now this happened in 2006. Yeah. What was what was the date? April 19th, 2006. So you would have been in a coma until sometime towards the end of May? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what day it was that you came out of the coma? Um, not exactly. No. Um, what time of day did it happen? Um, one or two in the morning. Do you remember, so the 19th would have been the, the next day, so the 18th is the day you would have been out and yeah, uh, drink, yeah, so. partying with your friends. Yeah. Do you remember anything of the 18th? I do. Um, actually, um, what I remember is uh, going 0 for 4 in a baseball game. I was, I was batting, uh, I had a really high batting average, and I went 0 for 4, and that dropped my batting average to 466, and I was trying to play Division One baseball. And uh, I just remember being really bummed out about that, and I was like, "We need to go out and so like get get off get this off my mind, you know, and go party and stuff." And I was actually supposed to hang out with my girlfriend, but she made other plans so that I fell through. So I was like, "Oh, whatever. I'm just going out, and I'm gonna get, you know, drunk, really drunk." Were you the end of your junior year? This this was your yeah, junior year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When is your birthday? When is my birthday? Eleven twenty-seven eighty-eight. So you you would have been sixteen in your junior year, or was it your sophomore? Year? No, I was seventeen in my seventeen junior. years old. Yep. So you were seventeen years old, and um, so you went over for four. And what did they take your average down to? To four sixty-six. Yeah. What is so it had been about five hundred. Yeah, yeah. How many games did you have played at this point? Um, I played almost um, like seven. How many games do you play in the season? Uh, 20. So the accidents at, at 1.30 in the morning, what's the most, the closest in time thing that you remember um, to that? So after the baseball game, what, how late in the day that you, do you remember? I remember we pre-gamed at this one of my friend's house. It was a girl. I remember going there. And then uh, after that, I remember um, actually going to the party itself, and uh, I saw my ex girl, my my well, my ex girlfriend now, but my girlfriend at the time's ex boyfriend, and uh, we we just we ended up drinking together, and we ended up, and he ended up uh, giving me a lot of drinks that night, and uh, I um, I just I remember being at the party, but I don't remember. Anything about the car driving or anything like that. Now, do you think your memory was flawed because of the head injury or because of the amount you had to drink? Uh, the amount I had to drink. I would lean towards that, but I think both are factors. Your, um, do you know what your blood alcohol content was? No. Go through in a bit more detail and tell me what you think happened in terms of the vehicle wreck itself. What I think happened, um, I, according to the police report, um, well, and my friend was actually following me, so he was in the car behind me, and he said it looked like I fell asleep at the wheel. So I just started 
Well, what I think could have happened is, um, you know how there's like a half mile marker sign for the exit and then there is the exit itself. I think I took the half mile and thought it was, you know, I was drunk, so I thought it was, I'm stuck, I'm stuck at it as, um, the exit and I started veering off the road and I obviously shouldn't have been. What happened to your car? Did you run into something head on or? Um, no, I, um, I think, uh, my car is skidded. And um, the guardrail, like the, the beginning of the guardrail, well, I think I tore apart the the guardrail itself, but then my car started sliding, and it the side hit the um my, my the car the my size car hit the beginning of the guardrail, and that like I don't know caused me to flip a couple times. Were you ejected? Yeah, yeah. I I assume I was. Yeah. You weren't wearing a seatbelt. Um. I think I was, but I don't know, but I'm, cause I was in the car, I was getting thrown around all throughout the car, so. All right. Um, 